our life. All right. Mad Max coming to you live from Louisville, Kentucky. That's where I'm at today. I'm by myself. I'm solo. No Roy. This just feels weird. This is the awkward that it's, uh, you know, it's just me and, uh, hello, Rachel. How's it going? Only one watching so far. Let's get some other viewers. This is a weird time too. So David Baker, what's up? It's a super fan. That's, you know, we like super fans. So I'm in Louisville right now, um, for the next, next two days. And, uh, you know, just got to keep the show going on. I said Monday through Friday, I made a promise. I made a commitment that I was going to do this Monday through Friday, talking about bats. Uh, it doesn't matter where I am, what I'm doing. I'm going to do this at least once a day. And we're just going to talk some uh, bats or gloves, whatever you want to talk about. I kind of got a new look going on with the, the mustache. I'm sure people probably don't like that or some people do like it, but it is what it is. Um, let's hear where everybody's out today from and let, let's talk about it. So today I don't even have any product in front of me because I am coming from the hotel room. But um, what the deal is, is Monday Madness, we have the Stealth Flex deal today. That's what we have going on. So we have, as far as deal today goes, we have the Stealth Flex uh, minus 10, which is 130 now. We have the minus nine, which is now $100. We have the minus eight, which is $100. Then we have some lightweight composite options. Like we have a minus 12 in the Stealth Hyperlite, which is last year's model. And then um, we also will have that being, the, the price now on that is 130. And then we have the Hyperlite, the older model to that, which is now $100. So really good deals going on there with the Easton Bats. And then we also threw in some, uh, the stash is creepy. Yeah, it's a little creepy, but it's going to grow in. It, you know, we'll see how it does. Um, and somebody just asked about, do you show do your show with the Southern, southern accent? I don't want to offend anybody. I'm sure we have some people with, you know, my Southern accent won't be so, uh, so great. So also we're going to have the Stealth gloves on sale, which were gloves that were $180 are now going to be $79.95. So really good deals coming, coming your way um, on this Monday Madness. I know a lot of people are probably just waiting, obviously, for the Cyber Monday, Black Friday type deals, which I could tell you the deals you're seeing, seeing right now on the website, they're going to be kind of what, what the deals are right now. Um, if anybody has, I saw somebody wanted to talk about Dee Marini, you know, depending on what they wanted to talk about, we do have a mega shipment, which uh, I'm sure my coworkers aren't too happy with, but you know, got me out of uh, got me out of working for the next two days. Um, we have a mega D Marini slow pitch shipment coming in with some flippers, some mercies, some juggernauts. So it should be uh, pretty interesting. It should be pretty sweet. Um, we're going to be running those deals. We have some add-ons going on with slow pitch. So we got a lot of stuff coming coming your way as far as deals go. And if there's something that you want to see on sale, um, you know, say now. Now I I know that we did this in the past. 2019 pro products cannot be on sale like so if you're like oh i want to see an lxt minus uh 12 or whatever 2019 cannot go on sale but if you said hey 2018 yeah we got some of those going on sale so we could possibly obviously give you kind of that sneak pre preview as far as what the deal of the day is and what, what those prices will be if anybody's got any questions let's you know let's dive right into this i see do see that uh some people are, are definitely tuning in which is good um and let's get right into this all right so Stealth Flex, we could talk about what that Stealth Flex bat is just to kind of obviously, uh, you know, show you what the deal of the days are here. I could go to, let's see. So this is the deal of the day. You'll see right here on the computer screen. You'll see right there. Those are going to be the deals right there. All right, that you can see. So Somebody said, Cleveland, Tennessee, what's good with fast pitch selections? So fast pitch, I can tell you right now, I'll pull up the Black Friday list. I think we have 30-something fast pitch deals going on for, for that deal of the day. Um, somebody also wrote Todd uh, Cat 8 deals. Now, unfortunately, the Cat 8 would be considered 2019. So like I was saying, that cannot go on sale. But a Cat 7, perhaps, you know, maybe we will see that right now it's 230. Could it go a little bit lower? It is very possible. Not to give too much away right now, but yeah, that is a possibility to kind of get the, the Cat 7. I wonder if he, you're, if Todd, if you're, you know, around, um, are you looking for the BB Crew one? Are you looking for the U Trip one? We also have our first holiday giveaway. So right now, for the length of time, 
early word on the Prime 919, Dave Baker wants to know is, the early word is that the Prime 919 definitely has lived up to that expectation. It was out of the summer, August and September, the most popular. Now, not to get too in love, obviously, with the Meta Prime, but the Meta Prime has definitely stolen some thunder away from that Prime 919. Uh, Todd also, the BB course. So Cat 7, again, I'm not, I don't want to give too much away, but yet you're looking at a Cat 7 possibly being uh, deal of the day, ultimately. So also, we are, like I was saying, deal the, we are doing giveaways. So giveaways are going to happen pretty much every Monday, and then it's going to run for 10 days, and then we're going to start a new one. And it takes us up pretty much right up until Christmas. Right after Christmas is our last giveaway for the new year with a new bat. Today, we are do, you can sign up to enter, and I'll put the link up right now, the Rawlings Quattro USA baseball bat. And in any size, if you were to be the one that's going to win it, um, obviously we could do any size, whether you were 28, 29, 30, 31, or 32. But I'm going to put that link up right now because you could win the Rollins bet just by entering the 2019 Quattro USA giveaway. So that's pretty sweet. That's a great deal. Um, you know, winning a bet, you know, right now. When are the Louisville Slugger 2018 baseball bets going to go on sale? Omaha drop five. So Omaha drop five. Um, I can see where we're at right now on that bat and see if that's going to go any lower. I did just put up the link, so you'll see that right there. It's going to be a, a Google document that you just sign up on, and um, that is completely picked at random. So that's going to be pretty sweet. I, I, you know, I know last year we did it, but we were kind of chasing ourselves, and, and we didn't have a good, obviously, uh, leeway time with it where we would start it, and some of them we were only running five days. Some of them we were only running six days. We figured if we started a little bit earlier on the November 5th, you know, then that way we could get everybody in and pretty much every manufacturer. So um, Easton, we're going to be doing Louisville. We're going to do a Wilson one. We're going to do a DeMarini one. Uh, we're, we have the Rawlings one, and we led off with Rawlings last year, a Marucci one. So there's a lot of good ones. Best BB core for a smaller player, a contact hitter, 13 years old. There's like a trio of them, I would say. So you're going to have the Cat 7 or Cat 8, the Solo 618 or Solo 619, the Rollins Velo, and I would even add the Easton Beast X White out in there. All one-piece aluminum bats built for bat speed to create some power. So I like all those deals as well. Let's see. Somebody asked about the Omaha. I want to get back to that. Be fair to that person, obviously. So Omaha right now, the minus five is one nineteen ninety five. Let me see who asked that question. Gerald asked that. So Gerald, at one nineteen ninety five, it's pretty much going to stay at that price. Um, so if you were anticipating going lower, unfortunately, I, I don't see that going lower anytime soon. I think it's going to roll out at one nineteen until we're kind of sold out. I know that we don't have many of those bats left, so that's kind of the inside scoop on that Omaha bat. If anybody's got any questions on any other bats, I'm more than you know. It, it doesn't hurt to ask. You know, the, uh, the only question, uh, you know, the stupid question, obviously, is the one not asked. Fastest swinging BB core, two thousand nineteen. So I think we're looking at that, saying that that bat is going to be the solo. It's going to be the velo. It might even be the Easton Fuse, which I like from Easton the best, but I think that bat might fly under the radar. And the common theme out of all those bats is going to be that it, it will have a one-piece aluminum bat with a composite end cap. So this is really key out of all those bats, that they're going to all have that type of feature to them. Yeah, no problem, Charles. Like I said, ask a question, you know. I just don't want to hear 2019 bats. Like, when is a 919 going on sale? When is, you know, the LXT 2019? But it really does not hurt to ask, hey, is the Cat 7? Somebody asked, you know, is the Cat 7 going to go on sale? And I, again, I don't want to give too much away, but I, I don't think I have exactly the greatest poker face here where, you know, I think you could obviously, uh, you know, kind of see behind and see what the, the deals are going to be. Somebody says, best softball bet for a 7-year-old playing pitching machine. So I would say, Eric, probably you're looking, you know, like something I, I wouldn't go, um, I wouldn't go crazy. I would probably stick with the one piece of aluminum, like, uh, you know, like the Quest from Louisville. Uh, we're in Louisville, so I'll roll with Louisville's kind of, let's say, lower options like the Quest um, or something like that. Maybe even the Diva as well. Brian Gates, what do you think? What do you think about the new lineup of Axe Bats this year? Last year's Avenge was very hot. So are we looking, Brian, are we talking U-Triple-S-A? Um, and then that will kind of tell me a little bit more. I'm assuming you're going to talk U-Triple-S-A, and then I'll kind of get into that. Jeremy, South Carolina, late but in the house. Yeah, dude, that's my fault. Uh, you know, playing. I wanted to do it from the airport, but I felt like it would have been a little bit creepy. I'm not up to the point of doing live videos in front of, like, random crowds. I don't think they would probably take too well to the yelling of the intro Mad Max. David asked, Cat 8 better than the Cat 7. 
Um, I don't know if I'll say better, but I'll just say a little bit more. You know, it's obviously it has some different features to it. I'd be real with you for a second and kind of just take off the whole, you know, uh, close out bats act and whatnot. I, you know, it's every year it's like cat eight to cat seven. I really thought that the cat eight, it was increased in price to 300 and it was a similar story. And I really thought ultimately what was going to happen was, um, I really didn't think it was going to be a major hit. I thought uh, it's three hundred dollars, and the old one's now two thirty. I thought I thought people were going to just flock to the the Cat Seven, and uh, not the case. Not as much as you know. I I would say we anticipated. It looked like right out of the gate, the Cat Eight was very hot. People were liking it. People were taking to it. So I will say that is it better? Um, the Cat Eight did not get worse than the Cat Seven, and it still checked pretty good. So that's always usually a good sign. Um, Okay, so Brian, you in, back to your question about that U Triple S A axe. U Triple S A axe. Yeah, I agree with you. That event was really popular last year. You know, first they came out with that black and orange one, and then after that they came out with that um, they came out with that you know red, white, and blue and white one, which that colorway has done great with them, and w and we did really well with that. So I would say yeah, axe is pretty sweet. I like their U Triple S A lineup the best. I think they're putting some good uh, resources into it. USA they took you know a number of chances this year, and we'll see how it does. The two and a half barrel, the two and a quarter, they have like a lot of bats. I mean, we got in our action and I was like, really kind of like, wow, we, you know, they have a, a number of bats. It's still taking me some time to kind of learn all these bats and kind of, you know, weave out which ones I like and which ones I kind of don't like as well. Easton Pro X Catcher's Helmet availability. I do not have that in stock. Um, I'm really kind of unsure of when that will be coming in. I can check, uh, Jeremy, when we're kind of talking right now. Um, I do know that the only pretty much catcher's equipment that I, I received for 2019 was the all-star one. So all-star I have in stock right now, um, Easton, unfortunately, I do not know the whole deal with that and seeing where I'll see where it's at and I'll see, I'll give you a date right now. See, this is the advantage of kind of just being solo with no Roy. Um, I know Roy kind of, you know, he de definitely stirs the drink, you know, he's the straw that stirs it, but you know, I, I think it's a little bit easier when he's not here, not as much pressure, you know? Um, all right, let's see. Pro X. Easton has a number of things called Pro X, so it's going to be a little bit harder to kind of, let's see, they got a Pro it. So I, I'm getting dates of, it's in pick status, which is usually always a good sign. Sometimes with these things, it's, it's you know, it says allocated, but right now it says pick status. So I would be hoping before Thanksgiving. If, uh, if we're still doing the show and it's like, you know, November 20th, and you keep asking where it's at, uh, chance it might come in after, you know, Christmas. Uh, what is the best U triple say new bat Louisville this year? 919. 919, definitely. They put a lot of technology into that bat, and it looks the best. I think Louisville has done a great job in their U triple say, and they've kind of flown under the radar. All their U triple say bats came out at the worst possible time, October 1st. So really, they missed fall ball, and we'll see, obviously, as we pick up for holidays, how they'll do. You know, fall ball was so, such a short-lived season, so I'd probably give Demery the edge when it comes to U-Triple-S-A, and i give um, Marucci that second one right there. Oh, you know, Jeremy, you'll be fine before spring for sure. Go live at the Louisville Museum. That's tomorrow. Today, we're just chilling out. We're just, you know, kind of got some work to do on the computer. It kind of never stops, you know, taking stuff off the website, creating new product and stuff like that. Um, you know, fixing some errors that have happened in the past on the website. Uh, David asks, uh, alternative, uh, alternate composite BB core to Quattro and Prime. So alternate composite bat to BB core, Quattro and Prime. So what we're going to see, I would probably say if you're looking, you know, you're, you're going to have the new East about the Project 3 Advance, which Roy thought was three bats when somebody asked for it, which was pretty funny. <laughs> but um I'd probably look at something from last year, to be honest with you, like Ghost BB Core Bat, we have a great deal on. Um, we even have a good deal on the Quattro from last year, which, again, not to give you too much away, Ch Wednesday when I get back, it's Roy's birthday, and he's let's. it's going to be a live birthday show. And I don't think he's going to be too happy with the deal that we're running out on that Quattro BB Core Bat, so stay tuned for that, guys. Um, but I will also even the CF Zen. Um, BB Core, I can tell you, we got a lot of good deals from last year, ultimately. Um, you know, so... Uh, you know, that's pretty much the, you know, the scoop on that stuff. And Jeremy, I think you'll definitely have that stuff before, before obviously the spring. Somebody asked, how does the 919 compare to the Zeno? Well, that's kind of, uh, I mean, we're comparing a baseball bat to a fast pitch bat. Um, 
you know, two different type of technologies. You know, the, the Xeno has that technology and it called the S1 ID technology, which is going to be that inner barrel, that disc, which I don't have here. I wish I did to show you that inner disc. Uh, 919 is going to be obviously that three piece bat with that VCX connection piece. So it's kind of a little bit different. I'll say if anything, most similar bats is 919 is going to be pretty similar to the LXT. We really wanted to kind of compare a baseball bat to a softball bat. And then uh, Kevin, right before that, asked LXT 2018. I'm assuming he's asking about a deal on something like that. And I will tell you this, we will have a pretty sweet deal on the LXT 2018. We were running some, oh, I meant fast pitch bats from Louisville Sucker. My bad. No worries. Uh, how does the, so we, Okay, so Frank, so which which battery you want to compare to this, you know, the LXT or the, which one? And then LXT 2018, yeah, we actually ran a deal over the weekend. Um, it's still going on. I got to change the prices, but that, those will be the prices you'll see Black Friday on those on those bats. So you got some minus 10, minus 9, minus 8, and minus 11. A little bit spotty in the minus, uh, okay, so LXT and Xeno. So yeah, difference will be, LXT is going to be three-piece bat, and Xeno is going to be two-piece. Then the difference is that I... You know, I've showed you guys before, and I'm sure you can see on the website a video of me holding the inner disc to it. Now, on the Xeno, there's two inner discs. On the LST, they took one out. What it ultimately does is gives a little bit of a longer sweet spot, a little bit more responsive barrel, and they're able to use two different type of technologies to it and two different type of composites as well. So that's kind of the interesting thing about the Xeno and LXT. Uh, they really have developed the LXT really well. It's done really, really good. So, um, you know, great job by, uh, by Louisville Slugger kind of creating those bats again any questions we're not going to go super long today it's it's hard without anybody else here and uh i don't even have the bats to kind of talk about but i wanted to at least just kind of go live for you guys and at least give you somewhat of uh an, an anticipation a build up to kind of what uh black friday and cyber monday will be because it's going to be pretty crazy last year was pretty epic a lot of the deals we were running this year if you're in the market for like a glove expect major glove blowout deals is what i'll say like pro preferred heart of the high type stuff not just like hey this glove was twenty dollars it's now whatever like this glove was a 360 you know whatever and you're getting it less than what a heart of the high you know cost so it's gonna be pretty sweet in your opinion what is what is better composite or aluminum for baseball uh so gerald i'll ask you as far as from a standpoint if you're looking bb core it seems like aluminum is major player and it seems like with the younger kids if you're in seventh eighth or ninth grade and you're playing on that 60 90 field I could probably tell you, count in the last year on both my hands, how many times somebody walked out with a composite bat in seventh, eighth, or ninth grade. Um, Frank, do you carry the Rollins fast switch bats? Yeah, we do definitely carry the Rollins bats. We carry, you know, everything Quattro Pro. We carry the Velo bat. And we've done real well with Rollins as far as the, the fast pitch category. Uh, they've come a long way. I do think they are. Quattro gets kind of a bad rap for being a little bit more end heavy. Um, swing similar to an Eastern bat, nice performance to it too, and very similar type of technology to what a Louisville technology is. So uh, that's kind of what you're going to see out of those, uh, out of that uh, Rollins fast pitch line of things. You know, nice bats. I think that their Quattro Pro is a major, um, really good bat. I thought it was good, I, and I think it was better than what the Quattro was. And I'm, you know, it has a 30 day war uh, 30 day trial to it. I think some people have taken advantage of that 30 day trial, but. Um, I, I still think that's a, a major bat. And I think it's the forgotten bat. I mean, you mentioned it. Do you carry Rollins fast pitch bats? Like, you know, it's kind of a forgotten bat. How do we, how do we not, carry, how do we not talk about Rollins fast pitch softball bats and how far they've come with the, you know, they, they were worth a couple of years ago. Now they're and make great bats. So, um, Probably shame on us not pushing it so much. I mean, you turn on the College World Series, and I don't read too much into that. Um, but, you know, these girls were at a Rawlings school, and they're swinging quattros and stuff like that when they could easily swing the Velo or they could even swing an older bat that they had from Rawlings. So I, I, I put a lot into that, that they obviously, uh, they're swinging those bats. If we got any other questions, I mean, we're, uh, we're only going to try to do this for like a half hour because, um, again, no Roy. I'm in a hotel. I want to at least go walk around Louisville, check it out, see what's going on out there. Somebody said, uh, Brian Gates, great deal last weekend on the All-Star 35 catcher's mitt. Do you expect to have the same type of deal on 33 or 33 and a half? Unfortunately not. Yeah, I'm not going to have that. So that was just a Blem glove that we got in all 35 inch. Um, and if anybody's saying, what, what is he, what is Brian talking about? What is Max talking about? We had a deal on the CM3000 BT, which is All-Star um, it's there pretty much. Did I get coffee here? No, I didn't get coffee. But what I do have is I got, I got this monster energy right here. 
which I'm going to totally dive into ultimately. Give me some energy, keep me up, keep me working. Uh, which aluminum Axe BB Core bat has the best performance slash pop? I think the Hyper Whip, which is their older bat, you know, that was one of their best bats. So we probably shift and we move into the Elite One. Uh, okay, questions are rolling in. Hold on a sec. Bounty helmets with face or Todd, we do have those. We sell the Rawlings ones and then we sell the Easton one. The Easton one we don't sell attached. Uh, we sell from the side. It sounds like they're vacuuming out there. Um, I hope they don't come in. Uh, light swing. How does the Marini Voodoo one compare to the Solo? I'll say this. I think the Solo is a lot better than what the, the Voodoo is. I mean, for the $50 more, uh, the Solo, you're getting nice technology to it, a little bit of that bigger barrel to it, and you're getting that composite end cap, so major technology to it. I have a 16-year player. Would you recommend the LXT or the Quattro? Um, hmm. Brian says, thanks. Go to the Evan Williams Bourbon Tour. All right, thanks for the heads up. Uh, huh. That's a tough question, Frank. I'll have to know a little bit more about, obviously, your daughter. I'll say this, strength level. I mean, what bat was she swinging previous to that? Um, if she's doesn't, if she's a power hitter, go Quattro. If she's, you know, needs bats, some bat speed to create power, I feel comfortable going to LXT. If you want to private message me or give me a call, we could definitely talk about that and probably, you know, uh, do it more intimately than, than right on here. But, I, I, you know, that's a tough question. Similar designs, I think, again, please ask Louisville Slugger about their thoughts with the PXT 2018 to 2019. Super disappointed. Bro, Jeremy, we told you, bro. I mean, <laughs> I, I, it's funny that you're disappointed. I mean, so let me – just so we know, Jeremy, we're all on the same page. You love the 18, but you hate the 2019, right? That's the whole, that's the idea. That's funny, man, because we, we, we hated the 2018. We dogged that bat. And then we really, I mean, 2019, I'm like, all right on. I mean, I think again, it's like, don't sleep on it. But I think we're a couple, couple years away from that PXT being a sweet bat. Frank says power hitter. Um, you know, in that case, I probably roll with the Quattro. I know I'm in Louisville right now. I know that hurts to, to say that. Oh, no, you hate the 2018. Okay. But do you like the 2019, Jeremy? Is the Axe Elite 1 BB Corbett super and loaded or is it kind of balanced? It will be a balanced bat. I think you're, I think you're trying, super and loaded. Is it mirror does you don't have more pop than the LXT and the PX, PXT? Philip Lin ass. Um, I Philip, I kind of actually this year alone, I've kind of got the feeling that the the LXT has kind of jumped the Zeno, and we're now into that. Um, we're now ahead of that. So, I'd say I and I I probably rank it LXT. Zeno and then PXT. That's what I would. That's what I would definitely run. Daughter had the 2018 PXT and the Ghost. Price point scares me to try the PXT again. Oh, Jeremy, no way. I, I won't let you, dude. If you order from us, we're gonna cancel the order. I can't. I I, I think you don't go with the PXT. Uh, yeah, Philip. I would. I would say this. Yeah, LXT in 2018 and 19 has kind of jumped the Zeno. It seems like that, and that doesn't mean that. Um, that doesn't mean that ultimately you have to go with LXT. I think it's it's two different types of player. I think if your daughter is, let's say, the junior, senior in high school or the college girl, a lot more of them are going to LXT. If your daughter's younger, like 10, 11, 12 years old, I'm still I'm still seeing a lot of Xenos in that age category. It's almost like it kind of switched where if you were younger, 10, 11, 12, you were going LXT. And then if you're in high school, college, you were going Xeno. This was like five years ago. And then it kind of flip-flopped a little bit. Somebody said meta alternative if I don't want to spend 500. I probably go Quattro BB Core to be honest with you. I know we're kind of, you know, I can't keep you in a Louisville bat for that same thing. And, I, you know, if you said, hey, I don't want to spend 500, I'd say, well, the only thing else I have is a 919 in third, in, in you know, in every size, and that's 450, which, you know, that's <laughs> at the end of the day, that's 500. If your son's swinging at 34 and you're in luck, we have a lot of good deals in 918 and 917, but. My chances of, uh, I think the chances of your son swinging at 34 are, are slim. It seems like nobody swings 34 anymore. So I'll say this. Look on the website. Look at the Ghost BB Corbat. Look at the the Quattro BB Corbat from 2018. All good deals. All, you know, last year's model composite bat. Even the CF Zen we have a good deal on. 
Uh, Philip said she's playing 10U. I, I probably key in on that Zeno. You know, that's where I would look. That's where I would shift some focus and kind of see where, you know, that might make sense. What's better than the Zeno? Price doesn't matter. I think the Zeno's good. I think the Zeno's just fine. I think, you know, you say price point doesn't matter. I mean, you know, there's the Ghost, which seems like people are in love with. But then my question to you would be, is she playing ASA or U-Trip? And then sometimes that kind of goes awry. I know you mentioned the LXT 2000. Yeah, I like the LXT 2019. I think, yeah, I think if you're looking, you know, hey, am I looking 2019? Um, awesome. Thanks. Hell, I don't think I can swing at 34 and I'm 6'2". <laughs> yeah, I would say it's a big bat, dude. I mean, they, they have become dinosaurs. I mean, there was a day, there were days where, you know, 34 wasn't, uh, you know, popular, but people definitely were, were all about it. Um, nowadays, nobody swings 34. And then, um, you know, even 33s are kind of not really so popular either. Yeah, Philip, I, I still key in on that Zeno. I think we, we go Zeno for her. I think, you know, she's 10U. I know you say price point doesn't matter, but, you know, you're just paying for newer and latest and greatest. I mean, go new. If price point doesn't matter, I mean, go new to Zeno. It's, you know, great bad. I think you'll find, you know, a lot of success in it. I probably, I don't know her strength level, but I might look minus 10 or I might look minus 11. That's probably where I would uh, put some of my focus into. We got any other questions? I'm sure people, you know, this is like afternoon show. This is, you know, we're kind of catching everybody, West Coast people, people at work or whatnot. Um, so this is uh, this is a good show, you know. And tomorrow we're gonna go. We're gonna try to go live from the Louisville uh, Museum. We'll, we'll we'll try to do that. I know. Uh, I wanted to. Do, I I feel weird. What I watch some of these YouTubers and then go out and like on the town and like film. It's like it looks kind of lame. I mean, not lame for. It's just like kind of. Like other people are watching them, it just like looks weird. So she has a, a 2018 Zeno right now. So I probably go, yeah, I probably go uh, 2019 Zeno is what I probably would go with. I'll take all your 34 dinosaurs, Bob. <laughs> Dude, we, I mean, 34, I could look right now. See, this is advantage of, I mean, this is advantage of looking right now. Let's see what we got in 34. How many options we have? Because I'm sure we could get it down and show. I, I, you know, I'll tell you how many we got right now. We have 39, 34 options, right? Low to high, we have a, a, a hybrid torque for $50. We have a Mako Torque XL for $50. We have a Z, ZLA for $50. Where am I shooting this? I'm shooting this in the hotel. Coworkers wanna know where I'm, uh, where I'm shooting this from. This is from the hotel. Look right out there, that's the view right there. Beautiful, beautiful view. I didn't wanna do it out and about. It's like kind of creepy if I'm like walking around like I don't even know where I'm going. I'm like going to start filming like, oh, look at me. I'm just walking around. We, some people do that and they won't be named. So I don't want to. Uh, we got the Prodigy. We got Hyper. We, we got pretty much every brand in 34. Bob, if you're looking here, here, Bob, I'm going to actually, I'm going to email you all these 34 inch options. Is the All Star thirty five a lot bigger in feel than the thirty three and a half? I own the black thirty three and a half right now. Love that. Oh, cut off. Love that. Made in Japan. You know the. Th it's it's funny because All Star their thirty five doesn't feel like a thirty five. I mean I know like hey where I mean they're the only ones that make a thirty five. So how what am I comparing it to? But I, honestly, I put a Rawlings thirty four inch on my hand and I'm like this is gigantic. The pockets like. You know, huge. It's just like a big glove. I almost put All Star like their sizing is like it's like step down a level. I'd probably say their thirty five is like a thirty four. I mean, they make a thirty two, and the thirty two is like a thirty one and a half. So, any new two thousand nineteen girls fast switch bats that are standing out? I'd probably say that. Um, I'd probably say any fast switch bats that are standing out right now. I probably we probably slept on Team Marini. I think we probably underestimated their popularity. Still, I think our order was a little weaker with Team Marini. I think in especially in the minus eleven and the minus ten, they still kind of do a nice job in those bats. And we kind of were like, eh, you know, Team Marini, CF Zen. It's like how many times can we have a CF bat coming out? But we kind of astro, uh, underestimated that bat. LXT was has been solid, and then the Ghost is definitely the topic of conversation. Doesn't mean it's always the one that people are wanting to buy because of the ASA slash U trip thing. Um, I'd be real curious to see how this Prism does coming out March. That's the anticipated date. 
If Roy was here, he'd probably say, I don't believe that that bat's going to ever come out. It's called the unicorn. I don't think it's ever going to come out. I think, you know, they're, they're talking March 2019. They're probably looking March 2020 is probably what Roy would say. Um, Evan, good guys right here. You guys helped me out last year. I recommend you guys to everyone. Thanks, man. Matthew Phillips says he asked about gloves, not bats. Oh, any new 2019 girls fast pitch gloves that are standing out? Oh, thank you, Matthew Phillips. I would say this, the Louisville, um, the Louisville Slugger LXT series has done pretty solid. Um, and actually, I, I think if you said gloves, you know, the new Liberty series that we saw last year was pretty solid also. Um, fast pitch, like, you know, if, if anybody's local and is, uh, is here and can kind of obviously, uh, if anybody's local and they want to, you know, come in and check it out, we actually now have one full side of the glove wall that's all dedicated to softball. It's never been like that. It was always kind of, in, you know, mixed in and it was kind of confusing for a consumer to walk in and like, you're like, hey, like, where's the softball gloves? And it's just kind of like, you know, some softball gloves look like baseball gloves. And there was definitely some Saturdays that got pretty crazy where a boy might've walked out with a softball glove by accident and maybe came back during the week. So now if you walk into our place, it's literally all softball gloves. You have pretty, you still have more baseball gloves, obviously, but the softball gloves, there's uh, more than anybody else out there, I would imagine. You know, we have, Rollins does a real good job with their Liberty Series. We even started carrying some Mizuno this year. Um, I think if you're looking for a top quality one, it seems like the, the A2000, um, they finally got that right, which was a major struggle for years. It seems like they couldn't get that glove right. It was always too tight. We would always order the baseball ones, and we would never, ever sell the softball ones. But now we have it down where, you know, girls are getting just as good of a glove as a boy. That's, you know, I think that was kind of the issue. Girls were going with, let's say, no knock on their glove, but like the Easton Synergy Series. It was like an $80 retail glove. And we were selling that to junior seniors in high school. And ultimately, like, is that same quality still good for a junior senior in high school? I'd probably say not. We're probably still selling the $80 glove to a 7th or 8th grader. And now it's kind of like girls have definitely gotten right up to where the boys' gloves have been. So what about infield gloves for softball? My daughter plays third. We got a ton of good gloves. Uh, Jennifer S. I mean, we, you know, gloves are uh, really good. I mean, we have... You know, I would probably look at the heart of the hide. I would say this, like, what you know, looking right now, let's see. We have a good deal on the heart of the hide. I'll actually just comment to you right now. So you have a 12-inch. You have the 12-inch that she can go with. It's now 180 It was a $260 glove, so. And the new one's 260 I'll just comment right to this so you'll kind of get this. Right there, we just comment to it. Replying to Jennifer, I would check that out. I think that's you know a real good starting point. Um, and then let's see what else. I mean, if you're looking to go you know crazy and you're saying hey you know I'll, I'll go with the latest. We even have the LXT on sale too, um, which is also really good. Central Jersey Young Guns represented. Evan, what up? Yeah, well, I'll send you the Louisville glove too. If anybody, this actually, this show has been better than anticipated. I wasn't expecting much. Yeah, I didn't want to do it at the airport either. It was too early. I wonder how everybody else feels about flying. The guy in front of me, right? The guy in front of me. Now, we weren't in like a big plane because it's only just Jersey from Louisville. It was all the way leaned back in his chair like this. Like pretty much like right, like his head was like right by me. I was like, dude, this guy needs to, and he fell asleep too. It's like, at what point do you wake this guy up and like, you know, just like hit him over the head and just hope that like, you know, then you just pretend to be asleep. I just like, oh, all right, Jennifer, I'm, just, I'm sending you another email here too. That's why I hate flying too. And some turbulence too. Uh, not a big fan of flying. That's why we, that's why we don't leave the office. Roy, Roy doesn't like any deals for Black Friday, Jamie asked. Dude, tons of deals, tons of deals. I'll tell you this right now. I'll give you we'll we'll just kind of you know, every day I'll kind of reveal a little bit more. You should have kept coughing on him somebody. Ah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's not a bad idea. I'll remember that for the way home. Yeah, it was one of these like smaller planes, so All right, let's see. 
any deals coming out of the Louisville selling or Mega Prime. So that, Gary, unfortunately, that we cannot give any deals on because that's a new 2019 bat. Um, only last year's stuff could go on sale. All right, Cyber Monday, right? Because that kind of tells it all, right? In bats alone, there's 26 fast pitch bats and counting. USA is a little bit weaker because obviously last year was the first year, so there's not as many closeouts. There's only 10 USA closeouts. BB Corps, there's 13. U-Triple-S-A, there's 17. Slow Pitch, there's 17. Wood Bats, there's 26, okay? Now, gloves. Let's go to gloves and see what... Ready? Baseball gloves, there's 37. Softball gloves... There's 23. Now that list, this is obviously created a couple weeks ago. It is growing. It is getting trimmed down. It's growing. So that number is going to fluctuate, but it will be pretty much the same. So uh, that, that's the number you're looking at. So obviously over 100 deals as far as in, in glove categories, in baseball bat glove category, it's going to be pretty pretty sweet. I think people are definitely going to like it, and I think it's going to be – it's going to be definitely well worth the wait. And, and some of these deals are, are rolling out now. It doesn't mean that, like Quattro, I can tell you this, for Roy's birthday, the BB Corps one, that's going to be the lowest price that you're going to see it pretty much through the holiday. So you should jump on that Wednesday. Right now you're seeing some stealth bats. That is going to be the lowest. Now I know some people are in their mindset like, hey, I even know some people, you know, hey, we're getting a bonus, you know, like, you know, anticipating this. I'm not going to spend money until I, I have it. So obviously, I totally get that. I totally respect that. So I get it if you're like, hey, listen, like I'm going to buy something, but I'm waiting until then. So any catcher's mitts, including baseball gloves and cyber money? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think, Matthew, are you looking baseball or softball? I do remember you commented before, but I do remember you making a comment that I messed something up. I, I, but were you looking baseball or softball? If you're looking baseball, thank you so much. Y'all are awesome. Uh, we got her stealth facts from you. She rocks the ball with it. Awesome. You hear that? And that's not even planned. Jennifer said that. And today we have the stealth flex on sale. So baseball. Yeah, Matthew, we do. We have uh, we do have you know, we have that all-star one, which I'm sure you might have seen on the website. It's now 250. It's the oil stain blem one. So we have that going on. Uh, we also even have a Heart of the Hide, which is going to be on sale. That's a great deal. So a lot of good deals. I mean, I could talk a whole show about deals, which I think I will do ultimately when I get back. Let's see. What number? This has definitely been a better show than I... I don't usually go in with high expectations, especially like one from the hotel room. Uh, you know, I'm not expecting, you know, crazy good results, especially midday. But... Today's been pretty solid. I, I like the I like the enthusiasm out of people out there. It's it's been good. It's been pretty solid. Yeah, I think we'll just probably I think we'll probably just a uh, couple more questions, and I think we'll just ultimately just wrap it up. I think that's probably the you know best thing that we could do. And uh, you know, again, if you're wanting to know something on sale for the holidays, and you're saying, hey, I want to anticipate this. Can you give me a little key information? Just message me, and we'll definitely, obviously, you know, see that. What did everybody think about the gold gloves last night? Let's talk 2018 Eastern Ghost Fast, which unfortunately that can't go on sale. Gold gloves last night. What's up with that? I mean, do we think some of those people, you know, deserve to win or whatnot? I only got one problem with that, the whole gold gloves, and that's I think every I think they nailed every one of them. I thought every one of them was great. I think the only one that I have an issue with, and it might just be my inner Yankee coming out, is Ian Kinsler winning it at second base. But the more I kind of dive into it and I look at who he was going up against, I'm like, eh, I guess you could kind of call it. Like he got it. Like Jed Lowry was the you know the other guy. I don't even know the I don't even know the other guy, but so yeah, I mean Mookie won it. You know, kind of saw that one coming. Jackie Bradley. I mean, really, they could have probably given it to three Red Sox outfielders, which would have been really bad i mean for me um to have to watch that but yeah i mean they could have given it to i mean easily ben tenny could have won but alex gordon i think deserved to win he had a great year a lot of makes a lot of outfield assists um arenado that dude just keeps <laughs> i mean i'm wondering at the end of his you know if all goes well he stays healthy knock on wood i mean i'm wondering how many that dude could rack up 
It's like he's like a, a lock for third every year. And then Matt Chapman looks like he, you know, he's going to be pretty much the AL version of Arenado. So that's pretty sweet. Keiko won it. Not not big surprise. I called that one. I thought he was definitely going to win it. Uh, I'm surprised Gary Sanchez didn't win it at a catcher. <laughs> no, Salvi, he was, we called that one too. Uh, Molina won it. That was, that was solid. Yeah, so I think really the only one I probably had an issue with was Ian Kinsler, which maybe I dive in deeper and go, really, eh. You know, the other two guys he was up against, I probably would have had an issue with too, but maybe. If he was an angel, I'd probably be like, whatever, but Matt Olson did come out of nowhere. That is true. I also, maybe one other issue, the tie at first. Ugh, I don't know. We'll see. I'm sure there's an answer for everything. Why th this one won it, why this one won it. But yeah, uh, Matt Olson did come out of nowhere. Thomas, yeah, Kinsler's glove is sick. Watch him with the Tigers for a while. Yeah, I, I, again, I'm not, you know, I'm probably hating on him because I'm like, he's a Red Sox and that's probably why. But I'm just kind of like, I, I look at the other two today after and I'm like, eh, they weren't really that like much, you know, like their numbers are, he's, he's, he deserved to win it at the end of the day. I just, when I saw his name, I was like, I haven't seen this dude's name like out there. Like he hasn't done anything all year pretty much. But yeah, his glove is pretty sick. He uses a Nike club, though, so it kind of is like, eh. I'd rather him use a, you know, Wilson or a Rollins. I'm just not a big Ian Kinsler fan, I guess. That's probably why. So, I guess with that, we'll kind of do a recap. Recap is this. Stealth Flex Bats on sale. Stealth Gloves on sale. Um, Quattro giveaway going on. So, that's sweet. Um, sign up for that. Link's in here. If you have any questions on what you want to see Black Friday, hit me up. I'll give you kind of the inside scoop. And uh, kind of with that, we're in Louisville. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of the day and do some work in here. And uh, you guys could always remember to shop smart and save big bucks only at Closeout Bats.